Dr. Edmund Dombrowski is a man with a mission. He has written two books that challenge evolution, a concept which has become accepted as fact even though, as the good doctor asserts, it's an unproven theory, and modern science actually proves it wrong. He started his career, however, on the other side of the theory. I was an evolutionist um, and uh, an atheist until I got into medical school and began to realize how these various organs of the body worked and that evolution could not have produced them because evolution is nothing more than happenstance. How could uh, evolution have created all the organisms that keep one another in balance on the earth? Question and, and unanswerable. Unanswerable because, as he says, the interdependence of one species on another and the complex ecosystems on Earth would be mathematically impossible through evolutionary theories. Evolution contends that organisms change to suit their environments. Dr. Dombrowski claims that science proves that organisms would fail in that setting, being unable to anticipate the complex issues they would face and would lack the ability to make organic changes to themselves. Evolution has to be considered non-science. It has to be considered an accident and something that would have happened by chance. By chance, because it would be like throwing a pile of materials in a pond and expecting them to come together in just the right arrangement to become a rowboat. But then, it's expecting that rowboat, successful in its pond, to have the wisdom, the ability, and the organic power to reinvent itself for freeway driving. It could never anticipate all the variables to make itself successful in an environment it knows nothing about and would fail. But an intelligent designer knows the end from the beginning. And once we accept an intelligent designer? When we know that there is a God that created all the organisms of Earth, the Earth itself, and the interrelation of these organisms, we have to begin to think about why we're on the Earth. And as Dr. Dombrowski says, the concepts in the book are not designed to make one believe in God. They're designed to make a person think in a different way. And in thinking in a different way, they themselves must decide whether or not there is a God. And um, I must say that I was an evolutionist, I was an atheist, and I am now a strong believer in God. Dr. Dombrowski is available to speak or appear to discuss his book and its revolutionary claims with your audience. For booking, please contact Sally Johnson at the number shown. Dr. Edmund Dombrowski, a graduate of the UCLA School of Medicine in the Mayo Clinic, Rochester, Minnesota, in orthopedics, has spent a lifetime in the study of medicine, chemistry, physics, biology, and anatomy. As a result of his study of the origin of life, he has come to the solid conclusion that the world in which we live is not the product of evolution or random chance, but is instead perfectly designed. And all things, animals, systems, and environments are a testament to that design.